Hi guys, it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing amazing today. Today I have a really fun subject to talk about and that is what to expect when you're starting to try for a baby. So there's so much to learn about and so much to know and I felt completely overwhelmed um, when I was quickly trying to learn all the stuff that you need to know when you're trying to get pregnant. Um, so I just decided to make this little series of videos um, that will tell you what to expect when you're trying to expect. <laughs> um, so as you may know or may not know, depending on if I decide to upload vlogs um, <laughs> about this subject or not, um, my husband and I have decided we're going to try to get pregnant. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. We've been trying for one month so far and I was very sad today. I realized <laughs> um, we're not pregnant this month, but that's okay. We're gonna try again for next month. And this month when we were first trying, it was really hard, like stressful because it was our first time, we didn't know all the facts, so I was quickly scrambling to learn everything and um, but then hoping I would be that like rare percentage that it would just happen to the first month, but that's quite unrealistic and yes. So I thought I would tell you guys um, some of the things I learned in this month because for me it was very stressful. Um, to learn all this stuff and weed out what is important for me right now, what is essential, and I had to look at a million different places to find a lot of the information. So, just a warning, some of this is going to be definitely <laughs> a little too much information, a little gross, but when you're trying to get pregnant and when you're pregnant and delivering and everything, it's gonna get a little gross. There's gonna be some bodily functions. There's gonna be a lot of things that aren't ladylike. <laughs> so, just forewarning. I'll say too much. I'll say TMI um, before I say anything really kind of people consider gross. I'm pretty open with that stuff because um, I have worked in the medical field. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm pretty open about all that kind of stuff. So if you have any questions about anything, like even if you think it's gross or it's weird, um, go ahead and leave me a comment. I won't be offended or anything. I'll answer you. So yeah, so let's get started. First of all, I will start off with um, our story and what we've been doing this month, <laughs> what I would do differently next month, and just all that stuff. So, um... So we started to, we decided we were going to try on the first of this year. Um, we've been wanting kids for literally our whole lives, but since we met each other we've been talking about it since the very, very beginning. Um, so yeah, we've just been waiting for the right time um, and we've been married, I think, almost five months now, which is exciting. Um, and it's not even that like now we're married we're like okay let's have babies right away we just wanted to feel like we were in the right place that we were secure enough and everything um we have like a nice place to live that we love and we will have enough money to have a child and just like basic things like that making sure that everything is set up like everything is not perfect because there never is a perfect time um, and you're always going to feel anxious and you're always going to feel unsure um, no matter what even if you feel like you're completely set up because nothing in life is guaranteed and nothing is um, like you can't be completely set up for anything because <laughs> life is unpredictable which is scary I know I like a lot of control in my life but um, with stuff like this you just have to go with the flow trust your body trust that everything is happening in its own timing and its timing is for the best even if it's something you don't realize like if you don't get pregnant right away or whatever um, even if it takes a long time it could be for a really good reason like for example I have a million examples in my life but I firmly believe that everything does happen for a reason and happens in its own perfect timing so you just have to trust that everything is going according to plan and you don't know that plan <laughs> but it is going according to plan um, 
But for example, um, I realized two years ago, I want to say two years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago, um, I, I'm the first one to realize it in my family, but we have gallbladder issues that are hereditary in my family, and it was like, I found out that I had gallstones after like, I didn't even know, it was at least seven months probably more of having intense gallbladder attacks and I didn't know what they were and I was so scared but anyways I found out about that um and they ended up removing my bladder uh, my bladder that would suck my gallbladder um and uh yeah and they were actually saying it's a really good thing that we figured this out and did this now because now you have a good recovery time before you want to have kids because if you're pregnant and you have gallstones you can't operate on them um, and like you I'm not sure if you can like zap them out or whatever that's but the kind that I had and that runs in my family you have to just take out your whole gall gallbladder because they're gonna keep on forming and doing all this stuff um so yeah so I couldn't have had the operation and then you're at a risk of your gallbladder bursting which can be life-threatening which is terrifying so <laughs> I was extremely lucky that that happened before um, before I decided I wanted to have kids like things like that like it was excruciating pain for a very long time um, but I'm so happy it happened when it did and because that happened to me um, instead of waiting like seven months um, my mom realized that's what it was because she recognized the symptoms and it's quite hard to recognize what was going on because it feels like you have a, they actually thought I had a displaced disc in my back so it feels like it's in your back a lot of the time. Um, so it's very hard to diagnose because it looks like a lot of other things um, and it's kind of like just ruling things out gradually and figuring out what it is and waiting for it to get bad enough to detect it which sucks. But anyways, my mom knew what it was and now my grandpa thinks he has it too. Um, my mom does have it, she got it tested and everything. Um, well not tested, but like they did like ultrasound and they found it. So yeah, so I don't know. That all worked out for a reason and now, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's good that um, that all worked out that way. And yes. Anyways, I'm <laughs> getting off track. Okay, so um, we tried um, the first of the month, and then we tried we tried um, throughout the month and during my fertile window, which I will tell you all about because I had no idea what that was before I started researching this stuff. Um, and we tried at all the right times, and I literally had honestly every symptom in the book. Even my husband can vouch for me. I actually did. And um, a lot of people, even if they weren't pregnant at all, um, they tend to want it so bad that they tend to have um, symptoms that are similar to like a hysterical pregnancy, which is a real thing. It's actually like a psychological disorder. Um, uh, that like your body, your brain, and everything that you're thinking and everything you're wanting so bad to be pregnant that your body displays the outward symptoms of being pregnant and looks pregnant and your stomach can actually grow and look like it's actually got a baby in there but you're not pregnant. <laughs> it's pretty crazy but it's not that extreme but you can get a little bit of that like the symptoms um, which is insane. Like it actually literally is exactly the same as being pregnant, but you're not, which is very hard. <clears throat> so that was kind of happening to me. Um, I had a feeling maybe it was kind of a chemical pregnancy, which I didn't know what that, what that was either, but a chemical pregnancy, basically like I had, um, implantation bleeding, which I'll also talk about. Um, at the right time in my cycle. Yeah, so that's, um, I don't know exactly what went on, but I had all the symptoms, like, so much things. Um, I'll do a separate video on what the early pregnancy symptoms are. Um, a chemical pregnancy is when your egg is fertilized and it starts off in the tube and it's slowly going down, slowly going down, and in order for it to become an actual pregnancy, it has to embed 
in your uterus lining. Um, and a chemical pregnancy is when it is fertilized, it's coming down the tube, coming down the tube, but then it doesn't embed or it doesn't embed properly and it gets flushed out. So it's like an almost pregnancy. Like it, it was gonna be a pregnancy, but it wasn't quite strong enough or healthy enough or whatever to um, become a full pregnancy. So in that case, you have all the symptoms because you are almost pregnant. You are um, like doing all the things, but then it doesn't take. Um, and that can actually be a good thing because if it doesn't take, it usually is because it isn't a strong egg and it wouldn't survive anyway. And it, um, <clears throat> or it has a chromosomal defect. Um, so like the chromosomes didn't properly start, like everything didn't properly start forming basically. So it wasn't going to work anyway, so it's better just to flush it out before it even starts. So yeah, which is just very disappointing, but it is a really good thing and it saves you a lot of hurt and sickness and everything in the long run, so it's actually a really good thing. Anyways, I've been feeling super, super bloated and my stomach has been harder. Um, my boobs started to kind of feel like tender, like hurting a little bit um, and a lot heavier. So that is a good sign. That's the one thing I like, I didn't really feel beforehand. Um, and that happens like usually right before my period. Um, I'll have, my boobs will be extremely sore and sensitive. That's, and I don't usually get any cramps. I don't usually get anything else except for feeling more emotional one or two days beforehand and then um, and then my boobs be really sore and and heavy and everything so those are usually the signs I get like right before I have my period oh, no. oh yesterday I was feeling like crazy because I don't know I was just feeling I was feeling really happy in the morning and then I came home and I just felt so stressed all day and I did have some stressful things going on but um, at the end of the day I was literally like crying my eyes out because I was so stressed out and I just felt so like hopeless and like oh my god so down and frustrated and stuff and then after that like I talked to my husband and made me feel a lot better and then um, after that like I felt so happy and like excited for the rest of the day I was like what the heck is going on here but um, I don't know because those are for legitimate reasons and with me it's really hard to get, like to gauge because like I did feel really nauseous um, and I have been feeling like not as much in the last two days I'd say which is that was kind of worrying because the symptoms I felt were like easing off now a little bit but that's normal I guess some people were saying that it kind of ebbs and flows and sometimes you'll have more symptoms and sometimes you won't have any symptoms and that kind of stuff and not to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I like, even I went to walking and I went to like the dollar store the other day um, to get some stuff for my friend's baby shower, which is funny. Um, I'm helping organize that for the 24th of this month. So yeah, so I got some things for that, like decorations and stuff. And um, I literally had to stop and take some deep breaths and like close my eyes for a minute because I was like, if I don't stop right now, I'm going to <laughs> So yeah. So I was feeling extra nauseous that day. Um, and that was like, that was about two days ago, I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess the main things I'm feeling right now are like, sleepy. <laughs> I lose you in these videos. <laughs> But I'm feeling quite sleepy even though I'm getting quite a good amount of sleep. Um, even like one night I literally fell asleep at 6.30 p.m. Which I've never done before in my whole life. Um, and then I woke up at like 11 or something the next day. And I was fine. And I was just like, I was still tired after that. So yeah, I've been feeling pretty tired out. Um, and... Um, like emotions crazy and but that could be partially because of coming off of my medication for my anxiety um but like I've done that before and usually I have just a steady feeling of being 
more anxious and more sad but I've been up and down in every which way which I'm not usually I'm usually very stable like one or the other way um oh and I've also been like way hungrier than usual because I'll be like especially around like bedtime I'll just be like I have to eat or I'm going to pass out <laughs> and it'll just come on really quick and um yeah usually like I don't eat very much at all um, but now like if I don't eat in the mornings or I don't eat in the afternoon I'll literally feel like queasy and so sick and like fiendish so that's like that's a new change for me um, yeah I felt like I was going pee a lot yesterday but I might be like some of it I'm sure is just like wishful thinking um, but the things that like I, I literally can't can't deny are that I've been constantly completely very bloated I feel like my stomach is hard and like big and stuff and like um yeah and I've also all the twinges and all like the that pinching pain I felt and like kind of like a fluttery dull cramping um down there and um yeah and feeling hot I've been feeling hot all the time and feeling exhausted and more hungry than usual those are the things that like I can't even deny that like definitely are happening. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but I've been extremely thirsty and like way thirstier than usual and craving like water specifically, which I never do. I always crave like pop or coffee, which I haven't been drinking any of. I've been very careful. Um, but yeah, so and my urine has been extremely dark and it's not usually dark. It's usually very light. So I like dark and dull. I don't know if that means anything at all, but it's just a change that I noticed <laughs> recently. And it also has a very distinctive smell, which is gross, but like, it smells different than usual. It's like little subtle changes. So, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't gross you out, I'm sorry. Um, but with pregnancy vlogs, you have to be transparent because I like it when people are just open and honest about the stuff and like, I've like studied like sexual psychology and like all this other stuff so I'm like very I'm just a very naturally open person about that kind of thing and I'm also I'm also like medically trained um so <laughs> I'm used to that kind of stuff um yeah so anyways that was my little update for today I hope you guys have an amazing day thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos once we are pregnant because hopefully it'll be really soon um, And even with these preconception vlogs like I will put these up soon Press like if you like the video and just leave me any suggestions anything that really helped you in getting pregnant or um, In the first trimester anything like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time